So it was supposed to be you, but you changed it. No, bitch, I don't want you. So what's happening? Am I getting? You already ready? wanted me to go because I wasn't gonna hand you off. Yeah, I know. Tell him you go too. Oh, you can't because the baby. Tell him you bring the baby. <laughs> you know, it's like it's called the ride and I have my child. You will. Mm -hmm. Who? But it's alright, it ain't your house. Exactly, you're gonna bring him. You're gonna do it today? I've been meaning to do it. Let's just So lazy. I mean, um, when I come back, I mean, if if I even go, if I even go, I can do it for you. Like when I come back. If I don't go, then. Is this is the box one. This is the two. No, I know, but I can help you with it. I don't. So, what do I do? Which one do you think, country club or strip club? Strip club. You think the strip club? Yeah. You think I shouldn't even go for the interview for the country club? You don't think I'm gonna like it there? No. I got to work, girl. Huh? I got to work, girl. What? I got to work. I'm gonna have to work? Uh -huh. I have to work at the strip club, too. Yeah, not really. Yeah, that's not really. Oh, I didn't think so. It's just like. It's like, it's kind of like how I feel about going blonde. Like, I know that's my end goal is to go blonde, you know? But I'm like, okay, let me try every hairstyle before I go blonde because I know that's my end goal. And then I won't be able to go like, like fucking orange after blonde. You know what I mean? No, I, no, I can, but I want to stay blonde. Once I'm blonde, I want to stay blonde. It's going to be much harder for you to get the blonde you want without filling your hair because there's gonna be so much dye in it where no i know i'm just telling you what my mind is like okay so my mind is like okay do all the hair colors i want to do all the haircuts whatever until like because blonde is the end goal so i can't do anything like balayage nothing like that i can never do that again once i'm blonde i'm staying blonde forever right mm -hmm. so that's why i went this hair color because i was like oh well like you know, let me try it out. That's why I did the, the money pieces. Remember the money pieces? Where like my, just right here was blonde. That's why I did that because I liked that hairstyle, but I liked it when I was blonde and I couldn't do that because then I had to dye my whole hair brown and then just leave that part blonde, you know? So I was like, okay, well like now that I have brown hair, like I could do it, you know, just to see it, like have something different for a little bit. But that's how I feel about the strip club. I know I love the strip club. So that's like end goal to me. You know, like I know I'm gonna like it there at the strip club. It's a fucking strip club. Who cares, right? So that's why I'm like, well, maybe I should just try the country club first to see, you know, because if I go to the strip club, I'm not leaving the strip club. You know, like I'm not leaving the strip club for the country club. You know what I mean? But then I'm like, I don't even know if I should like do it because yeah i don't know i would say go for it i mean what's the worst that happen no you're not hired yeah but what if i am hired you know yeah and i just feel like there's just rich people there you know like the only thing the only i mean there's two things that i don't like is one it's not a night like the strip club and then two 
What was the second thing? Oh, it's not like in the dark, you know? Well, there, there's a couple things. I like the strip club environment. I like to see naked women. I like to see the naked women. I like the the dark environment, you know? So I can fuck up my makeup and no one can see it, you know? Um, like, it's like, oh, it's gonna be dark in there. Who fucking cares, you know? Um, and then I like the outfits, like the strip club outfits. And then I like that you could be mean to customers, you know? So it's just like, and then I like that it's at night. All those things that I like, the country club doesn't have, but I like that the country club is just for rich men, like rich men only, you know? So it's like, should I just try it? And then if I don't like it, just fucking quit and just go to the, the strip club, you know? Like the strip club's always gonna be there. Yeah, and I could get my customers, you're right. I could get my customers. I could tell them like, hey, come see me at, and then maybe I can even do two. But then I would be doing three because I have Makara too, you know? And I just can't quit Makara, you know? Even though I don't even use that fucking discount. Just can't quit Bacara. But we'll see if the country club even wants me because I did. I haven't called them back, you know? I was supposed to call them today and I didn't. And they called me, they called my mom, and my mom said that she would pass the message along to me. And I actually did, and I didn't even call them. But I was like too worried about my rent, and, like that shit, you know what I mean? So, yeah, basically, that's how my life is going. What did he say? Huh? What did he say? So am I doing my makeup for nothing? Can I retext you? Like, what's happening? Where can I take me? Or are you gonna get me a lift? I'll be What do you say? He said, wow, that's not cool, my friend. Tell him we're poor and he's rich. Maybe don't say rich, but tell him we're poor. That's it, just tell him what we're poor. You know, I really need the money, so, like, I hope he does want me to go, but then there's a part of me that, like, I don't even want to go, so it's just like, eh, you know? Like, last night when he told me to come over, right, it was, like, midnight, and I really was, like, hoping, like, he would be like, oh, it's late, you know, and then he ended up saying that, so I was like, thank God, because I really did not want to go over. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't need it. Here, give me my jewel cases. It's charging. I, t I told him. He said, well, that's not cool, my friend. I said, no, what's not cool is you live far away and I'm poor and you want me to teach, and you want me to use the last little bit of gas I got to take my friend to your house. But it's cool. Pay for her lift. He said, you need gas money? Yes. Yes. That's the whole point. But you are gonna look back over here though. I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna give him a gummy and get myself a gummy in. So I'm gonna go early tomorrow. So am I taking your keys? Or are you just not gonna lock the door? Oh fucking bitch. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna lock the door.
Honestly, I don't know how you live in this house. I get so scared. Like, the the window. Like, you can hear everything outside. And, I like that. No, like, you can hear when people, like, walk up and, like... Like, no, I... She said I feel safe. No, I don't. I don't like hearing people, like... I get scared. I want to hide and pretend I'm not home. See, no, that scares me because in the middle of the night, I just see like the the lights, you know, outside. Because I always sleep right. Well, not always, but like one time, maybe twice, I slept right there on this side, and I could just see the like street lights just through that little the little crack, and I just like oh, it's so scary. And I literally, I've never had nightmares over something you see with your door you used to glee with your house unlocked. unlocked yeah that's how unscared i am but i literally had nightmares when your blinds were open you just went to sleep peaceful as fuck she went to sleep peaceful as fuck with her blinds open in this big ass window let me show you look at that big ass window right next to her bed she had the blinds open I literally had nightmares. I'm not even kidding, Larissa. I literally had three nightmares that night, and it was over the fucking window. It's peaceful. Uh, you are insane. Yeah, no, it scares the fuck out of me. Here, come get some candy. That's that's crazy. The loons are so bad and he doesn't like it. Really? They were so fucking burnt for you. Like legit, there was no meat on it. No meat. No meat? So he just picked the wrong the wrong um wings? Huh? So he just picked the wrong wings? Yo, I'm sorry about this angle. Hey, I'm sorry. <gasps> what the fuck? I didn't even see that. No, don't eat that one. Here, eat the hand. Eat that. Eat that. Ew. I told this man I was going to get so ready. I was like, yeah, I'm going to do my hair, my makeup. I am not doing my hair. I'm doing my hair, guys. Okay, let's go. Who are you saying let's go to? Me? Him yeah. Did you know that um that candy getting you hyper is a myth? Really? Yeah. It was like um like debunked. Debunked. Yeah, it's just like all in your head. Like it's just like your parents didn't want you to eat candy, you know? And then like it was it's just gone on for so many generations that we all like believed it was true, you know, but it really isn't true. Well, at least I read that on the internet, because I really, I really, I'm, I'm not a scientist, but I did read that on the internet. Or maybe watch a TikTok video about it. I don't know, but I actually saw, like... I think the coke thing is true, just because, um, 
One time I gave him Coke to drink. Mm -hmm. And that little boy was like for hours. Like he was bouncing off the fucking wall. He could not calm down. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they said anything about Coke. I know they said candy though. Like candy, like it doesn't get you um, hyper. But like some some people like if you told because like have you ever heard of the the placebo effect? Yeah. So like I feel like candy is like that. Like if you take candy and you know like your parents taught you like oh it's gonna get you hyper, then you'll believe it's gonna get me hyper so much that you get hyper. But it's not the candy; it's your brain. You know. Give my phone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Should I do my lashes or no? My daddy. Should I do my lashes or no? My daddy. Just like this. Okay. Let me show y'all this cute parenting moment. Say hi, Junior. Okay. That was his version of hi. Oh my gosh, my line is so sharp right there. I need to diffuse that because in the front it looks so good. Then side? It's giving deer. It's Thor. That's Thanos. Thanos? Yeah, Thanos. Thanos? That's Thor? That's Captain America. You know who's my favorite? Thor. Junior, do you know who's my favorite? It's Hulk. Hulk. Hulk is my favorite. It's Hulk. Hulk is my favorite. It's Hulk. Yeah, he's my favorite. He's my favorite Avenger. My favorite Marvel, right? That's Marvel. You know who's my least favorite DC character? Batman. I hate Batman. I'm going to start a club. Um, the I Hate Batman Club because I hate him that much. You know? Like you're blocking me out I'm just like it is not important to speak my last name wow that's so crazy I'm just gonna let her rant on because of how tired I fucking am that's insane did you see Drake's penis? Yeah, I did. You did? Mm -hmm. That shit was crazy. That shit was bigger than Milo's. I didn't like that. <laughs> I remember like, talking shit about it. Who was talking shit about it? TikTok. No, I saw everybody in love with him on TikTok. On my TikTok, everybody was in love. Was on TikTok too? No, just like they were talking about it. But everybody was in love on my TikTok. Yeah. Like all, like, all I saw was like... I'm so surprised like <laughs> he, it's so big and it's so, so it was soft and big like that was 12 inches for sure that was 12 inches for sure I used to be in love with this guy right and he had a nine inch dick and um when it was when it was soft it was still huge you know and Drake's dick was soft and even huger so well, I'm pretty sure that was soft. That's why he could wiggle it because it wasn't hard. So he's not a shower. No, I mean, he's not a grower. He's a shower. No, it might grow more. <laughs> like that's crazy. He had. He definitely has a twelve-inch dick. He has a porn dick. Like that's that's porn right there. 
That's that literally. That was him recording it, right? He was recording it himself. Yeah, he was recording it himself. He probably sent that to a girl, and then the girl leaked it. But some people, some people said that he leaked it because he wanted the the rumors of the BBL to stop. Because Megan Thee Stallion put out a song where she was like, "Men be um, making fun of women or mad at women for their BBLs or whatever." but you have the same scars. And it was supposedly about Drake because then there was pictures and like he has the scars of like a BBL. <laughs> so they think like maybe he leaked it himself so that people would stop talking about him getting a BBO. What do y'all think? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I already knew I'm fuck Drake and now I know for sure I'll fuck Drake. <laughs> Drake hit me up if we see this video. <laughs> yeah, very crazy. I wish you could go with me. Just take him. Just take him. I am taking him. No, take him like inside. Just go with me. Yeah, baby would not want to be with you on either. He'd be like, Mom, stay here. Okay, hurry up. I don't even want to go, but it's like $300 and I need money. <sighs> it's my fit. Uh, all that you're wearing? No, I'm just kidding. But I look good. I'm about to go give this man a massage for $300 because I need to pay my rent. Say bye. Bye. Say bye, Jacob. Jacob, Jacob say, bye. say bye. Bye. Oh, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Love you.